to ask me. How do you choose to paint somebody? Just because they ask? Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's the only way. So the fact is that they choose you rather than you're choosing them? Ah, uh, yes. I'm scared. What are you looking for when you make a portrait? Um. Oh, well, just uh, well, actually, I, I try to make try to make people look good. I try to do big, simple, um, simple designs, mostly. <laughs> so often repeat the image? Uh, well, I, I always think I don't do the first one good, so I, I try to do it more, you know, I mean, in portraits, uh, that's that's what I did. And then I, I try to do them over, and then after a while, you know, you have more than one. It takes me, it takes me more time to do. Do you think this tells you more about the person? Well, by doing, you know, by spending more time on it, it's, it's just like a person who spent more time on one picture. I just spend more time doing more than one picture. How do you set about making a picture? What's the process? I've got this, uh, Mr. Land has invented this great camera that was called uh, a Polaroid. It was called Polaroid um, Big Shot. And, uh, and it just takes uh, the face of the person. I haven't learned how to do the body yet. I mean, I, I, I've done it before, but not, not really. <laughs> Choose. Then I, yeah, then I pick, and sometimes I, I, um, you know, take a half a picture from one one picture and another picture and whip from another picture. And what do you do when you've got the picture? It, it's usually a colored picture, and I turn it into a black and white um, photograph, and then from there I um, turn it into. Um, uh, uh, you blow it up to the size. Uh, I, I guess I got stuck to making all the pictures 40 inches by 40 inches, so blow up to a 40 by 40. And then? And then um, I have a silk screen made of it, and then I, I put the paint on, then I paint over it, and um, try to get the right colors. And sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's easy. What are the right colors? How do you know which are right? Well, I don't know. After you finish it, you know whether it's right. You never try to make it look like life, do you? Ah, uh, gee, I don't know how. Do you always choose artificial colors, then? Ah, uh, yeah, I use some mostly artificial color. I'm trying to find flesh color, and it's, um, I have so many different color flesh colors, but maybe one day I'll get the right flesh color. You 
once said, I hate to throw the old quotation back at you, that you thought it would be nice to be a machine. Well, I, I still want to be, but, uh, well, I do the same thing every day. I go, you know, go to work and paint. And I try, try to turn out as many pictures as I can. Is the number quite important, doing a lot of pictures? Oh, that, yeah, the number is really important. I keep reading about this um, Indian guy that turns out like three or 4,000 pictures a minute. Or maybe it's a day. Would you like to do that many yourself? Oh, well, I keep trying, yeah. And, uh, it takes, I don't know, it always seems so easy to read about it, but when you try to do it, it doesn't take, it takes longer. Would you like to see your pictures on as many walls as possible, then? Uh, oh, no, I like them in closets. Why is that? Oh, because people collect them and they put them away. They don't have to put them up in the wall. At least they have them. Well, what are they doing in the closet? They're not being looked at. Uh, well, that's okay. It's enough that they exist, is it? Oh, mm, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Do you see yourself going on doing exactly the same thing now, portraits and more portraits? Uh, well, I hope it goes on. Yeah, I really do. Partly, not merely because of the money, but because the activity gives you pleasure, does it? Uh, oh, yeah, and it really, really, well, it, it keeps me working. I really like that. And, and I like doing, like I keep saying, I like to doing the same thing over again. Is work a pleasure to you, then? Oh, yeah, it is. And then painting the same picture is, is really more pleasure. I always want somebody to ask me to do, you know, like 30 or 40 pictures of them. Why is it more of a pleasure to do 30 or 40 pictures than to do just one? Then I can uh, listen to my sound about which looks just like the thing that I'm wearing now. And you can, you can listen to opera and stuff like that. Does that mean you don't have to think when you're painting? Well, no, you can listen to really good music. So that, what, painting is an excuse to listen to really good music? Oh, yeah. When did you take to opera? Oh, I always liked opera. I used to go when I was uh, very young. And now when you, you know, with this great, it's an, I think it's another Sony m machine. It's, uh, it's, it's called a walkabout or a walkaman or something like that. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's actually really terrific. And you can, you can hear this stereo in your ear and it's, it, Can you tell me who you've enjoyed painting most of all the people you've painted? Uh, I think Li Liza Min Minnelli. Uh, why Liza Minnelli in particular? Well, um, because I was able to sort of uh, do her, uh, do the painting like the way I used to do them years ago, and, and I, I just did it recently, and uh, it um, just had the right look and the right colors. and. Because she was the same sort of person as Jackie Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe, was that it? Yes, I, well, uh, she's a great person. And the kind of person does affect, in the end, the way the, the pictures look, does it? Uh, yes, they do. Do you believe in feelings and emotions? Well, no, I don't, but uh, I have them. I wish I, wish I didn't. Well, you'd like to get rid of them altogether, would you? Do you think you'd be happier? But happiness is a feeling too, isn't it? Uh, well, no, it's just a feeling of doing the right, you know, just getting by. But do you think that the important thing in life is getting by? Uh, yes, I do. More and more? Uh, yeah. When you look back, um, after all, you were successful before you became an artist. Um, do you ever wish you hadn't become an artist? Uh, well, no, I'm not. Well, when I was doing that, I was doing the same thing. So I'm really not doing anything different. Well, when you were doing windows and drawing shoes and so on. Well, I, I'm drawing shoes again now, so I don't see it any different. What you've gone exactly back to what you used to do. Oh yeah. The same kinds of shoes, or have they changed? No, the same kind of shoes. The same shoes, actually. What well, again? Do you remember what they were like then? Are you drawing them from memory? Uh. Uh, no, no, I, I, I had some, and actually I went out to get some more shoes, and the shoes had 
designers are designing now are exactly like the shoes that were done in the 50s and um, I, I really couldn't tell the difference. The names were different, but uh, the, shoe, the shoe style was exactly the same. Do you think everything comes back like that then? Well, I, I do, and the only way you can sort of judge that is when, when you watch TV every day and you see a, a, 20, a, you know, a 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, movie or TV or newscast or something like that. It, it really hasn't changed at all. Well, so time, in fact, stand still. It seems to go by us. I think it does go by us, yeah. Well, do you mind about getting older then, Andy? Oh, no, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm old. You, you reckon you're old already, do you? Oh, yes, I'm old, yeah. They call me Granny. They call me Granny. They do, so. What, well, the interview magazine, they call you Granny? Uh, everybody does. Why is that, do you think? Uh, I don't know. They, they, they say I'm old. Do you think it's a sign of affection or not? Uh, no, it's not a sign of affection. They're just mean. They're just mean to you? Yeah. Do you ever feel affectionate about people, or is that against feeling too? Uh, well, no, I like everybody, so that's affection. Well, the, the, the great thing is to feel affectionate towards everybody in the world. Yeah. Do you ever allow yourself to dislike people, then? No, I try, I really try not to. And why is this? Because it's bad for you, or because it's bad for them? No, I just, I just, uh, well, I don't really try to think about it. I try, if somebody's funny, I, I try to leave. And, and, and what do you think is the, is the characteristic of a really nice person? Some people you obviously do like more than others. Um, well, if they talk a lot. <laughs> what, don't make you talk? Yeah, yes, that's, that's a really nice person. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Thank <laughs> you.